All families have a set of beliefs, values, and attitudes that are passed down from generation to generation. For the Beatty family of Columbus, their legacy could be defined by four things. Leadership, activism, service to community, and strong family values. As we continue our celebration of Black History Month Family First series, here's more on how their impact on our city dates back to the late 1930s. In 1963, a woman from Columbus by the name of Mamie L. Moore stood just a few feet away from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. as he delivered his iconic I Have a Dream speech at the March on Washington. My grandmother uh, came here from uh, Wichita, Kansas. I think it was about 1938 and immediately became very active politically. And uh, she was so active on a national basis that she became uh, first vice president of the Nash, what used to be called the National Negro Women's Clubs. She was also a founding member of the Columbus chapter of the NAACP. Her work in politics and in the community are celebrated. She and my mother and father opened a restaurant here and the restaurant was open when there was still segregation. There's even a park on the Near East Side that bears her name. She came here and worked very, very hard, was very, very active, both politically and in the community, and times were really different then. Grandson Otto Beatty Jr. is a trailblazer in his own right. His resume of work and long list of achievements include serving as a state representative for 18 years, a seat his wife, Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, was appointed to after he retired in 1999. I could not do much of this without Otto. He is just that much of a strength to me, uh, a leader. And believe it or not, I listen a lot to him. Beatty learned early on the correlation between education and success. Growing up, education wasn't a choice. It was an expectation. Wouldn't have had it any other way. Otto Beatty Jr. attended Howard University and the Ohio State University College of Law, where he graduated among the top of his class. Years later, he would instill the value of education in his own children. His son, Otto Beatty III, is an attorney and entrepreneur. I'd say the most important blessing is just to have parents that support you, regardless of what you want to do or what your dreams are. His daughter, Laurel Beatty Blunt, is a judge on the Ohio 10th District Court of Appeals. She says being around her dad exposed her to successful black people in all walks of life. And because of that, she never questioned what she could do. My brother and I were very young, you know, and we were around Janet Jackson. We were around Jerry Hammond. We were, uh, we saw successful black people from the very beginning. And if you will, you know, they say, you can't be what you don't see. And I, I was so fortunate to be able to see it. It is now up to the next generation of Beatty's to continue the family legacy of hard work, excellence and community service. To whom much is given, you know, much is expected. And so, you know, we've been in these political offices, we've had businesses that people have supported. So why wouldn't we give back? Because the community has given us so much. Both siblings recognize they come from a family with generations of political and community involvement, but say, don't be discouraged if you don't. Make yourself the maybe more of your family. It's gotta start somewhere. And just because you didn't come from a family like mine doesn't mean that you can't be the root of what could be a wonderful legacy of your own. What a great piece of advice. Now we're continuing to bring you stories of family and neighborhoods all month long. You can see our previous reporting right now at 10tv.com slash Black History Month.